Welcome everyone, I am Star Fox, and this is our Let's Play series of the game Mist. But in addition to Mist, we are also going to play Real Mist right afterwards, so that you can see how both compare with each other. So what is Mist? Mist is a franchise centered on a series of adventure video games. The games in the series are Mist, released in 1993, Riven, released in 1997, Mist 3 Exile, released in 2001, Mist 4 Revelation, released in 2004, and finally, Mist 5 End of Ages, released in 2005. There's also a spin off game which had planned multiplayer capability entitled Uru Ages Beyond Mist. It was released in 2003 and had two expansion packs. There have been updates and remakes to Mist. So the two versions that we are going to start playing are Mist Masterpiece Edition, where the images are rendered in 24-bit color instead of the original 8-bit. Also the score and sound effects were enhanced and cinematics were redone. And then we'll play Real Mist, which is an interactive 3D edition and remake of Mist. This version has a free roaming real-time 3D world instead of pre-rendered stills. Weather effects and minor additions were made to keep the game in harmony with the story of the Mist novels and sequels. So let's get to both of these games and relive a classic story. Here we are. Our Let's Play series of a classic, classic game. By Red Orb Entertainment. No idea what's through the looking glass there. Just shapes. And a yellow ball. Cyan Entertainment. And me, Star Fox, we present. Mist. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my mist book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. I love how that starts. <laughs> and now you're here, and there's wind, and there's a book in front of you. Now you see an arrow or a cursor, I see the hand. I had to set up set it up this way in order to record properly, so here's the book of mist. Let's open it up. And we this is like the Harry Potter picture book. You touch it and you go inside. Okay, so here we are. In the world of mist. And there is a bird or something up there flying around. Two of them. Three of them. Okay. And we have that thing there that's kind of... Can't really go forward. Can't go that way either. We got the door. We'll come to that. We have these little switches. go up into this ledge here. Okay, and there's a note. Catherine, I have left for you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours, Atreus. Or Atreus. So what's a marker? Let's find out what a marker is. 
we're going to go inside here and look at the pool of water. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, it's not a real pool of water. Okay, marker switch diagram 47. Aha, uh -huh. so let's change this to a 4 and a 7. And let's turn this on. Okay, so those are our marker switches. We saw one of them. Actually, we saw two of them. So let's go find out and see how many we have. There's one. There's another one up there. There's two. There's three. one down there. That's number four, next to the rocket ship. There might be another one down here. That's hard to say. There's four, or five. Six. <clears throat> Some birds. Seven, over there. something there. So f seven for sure we can see, possibly one more. Let's go ahead and go down here. Let's try eight. If not, we'll try seven. And here we go. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine. It's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't lead to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But... If you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. All right. So I'm not sure how to erase the message. But we can go ahead and change the code. So he spoke of books. Let's see if we can find out where these books are at. Let's see what's up here first. Some kind of gear wheel. A switch. How much else? Look at this thing. Something that's sunk. sit in the 
chair. need to know a date of some kind. Okay, this looks like the library. And there's a blue book over here. Apparently, pick up the blue page and put it in the blue book. It makes a spooky sound. Seems like a crazy version of the guy that was down in the, uh, talking to his wife. Alright, seems like a good place to save. And we will, uh, we'll see what, uh, real mist is like. This one is brought to you by Sunsoft, because it's bright, and it's soft, just like this music. Oh, the music quality is so much better. This is kind of cool, but I like how the original one opens up. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. But I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Cool. So let me ask, what in the world am I doing in this starry expanse? Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> Looks like we get a flying shot of what's going to be the island. Okay, so here we are. There's Mist Island, and there's the same picture that we saw in the original. And in we go. Oh, wow. Now that's cool. The water is animated. It's kind of choppy moving around. That's probably because I'm recording. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, you click and you move forward. Cool. No slideshows. 
to. Now you're kind of limited of where you can go in the original, but I wonder if... Ooh, yes. You have more freedom to move around and stuff in here. So you really got a true 3D environment to move around. That is just awesome. Okay, so the... Put it down. Put down the note. There we go. What if we can go down this way? Oh yes, we can. Can we go in the water? Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the imaging chamber here. Anyone catch that reference? <laughs> what show is that from? Let's turn off the holodeck. I want one of these inside my living room. That's just too cool. And the music's still playing. That's cool. It didn't do that in the original. So it was eight markers. shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Wow. So that's cool. That is a different take than what we saw in the original one. Very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll change it. Make it 47. So we can see what the marker looks like on this one. Sounds like I made an error or something. Well, click it. Oh, that's cool. Definitely 3D, where the other one looked kind of flat. <laughs> yeah, so that, in that new take was real interesting. I mean, the fact that they still even have footage. I mean, of course, they, they took more than one take when, when doing the... Um, when doing the filming and stuff, but the fact that they still had it, that was a much more interesting uh, take. I rather liked that one. Now, there's no music that plays up here. I figured might as well try going up here since we did that on the original. Birdie! We'll go this way. I'm sure we can probably walk over in that direction there, but... Let's kind of stay consistent with what we did in the, uh, oops, we missed. We missed the dentist office. Nothing on the ceiling. Click the blue light for the blue light special. eventually go down in those areas. The last time we were just counting markers. Well, we already know how many markers there are.
Let's go ahead and put the blue page in here. I'm Star Fox. Who are you? Mr. Crazy Guy. Blue pages. He's in the Phantom Zone. <laughs> With the other Krypton villains. Blue pages. All right, let's go ahead and look at the other book. I love this. This is just so cool. All right, let's put the page in there. I think that is serious. So interesting. So the other one must have been... I don't know. I think these are the two sons for some reason. Let's just take a quick look at this map. <clears throat> kind of cool. Oh, cool. All right. Well, let's uh, leave it right there. We're going to go. go we're we'll going to go ahead and uh, save for right now, and we will pick up on part two and we'll do some more exploring.